All right, so it's time for us to create our third component, and actually this third component is going to be the key where through it we will learn about all other components, including the components we've created so far. This component we're going to be working on this time is the jQuery UI dialog. It really comes to replace the input uh, dialog or the alert box, if you've heard about it and worked with it before, which are very, very limited in the visual control that you could have over, the, over them and are really annoying. Users don't like them, and that's just the fact. With that said, users really don't like alerts in general or being forced into doing things that they don't want to. So be very careful about when you use a jQuery UI dialog and try to make it as fun as engaging as you can. I would say never put an alert box inside of it. If you feel like you need to use um, an alert box or a dialog box in, in an unnatural way, that probably means that your UI is bad and it probably means you should need to take a step back and see what do I need to do to change things here so I won't need that box? Now, if you do need this alert box, let's jump in and see how it works. And through it, we're going to learn also about all the different features that are available to all components. Now, one more thing that I wanted to say in our last section, we downloaded the, um, we downloaded a custom version of the component. And if you recall, once we downloaded it, we only downloaded, we literally disabled everything and we selected the core UI. And when we selected only the button and the day picker. Now, in this case, we're also using the dialog, but I would suggest already, if you're ready for it, how about just download and notice something really, really cool also, by the way. So I'm going to toggle all off. If I select also now, let's say the button, um, only the button, and I select the date picker and I select the dialog, you'll see that automatically it's going to select all the other core components of the UI core and the interactions. So in this case, you can see that by adding the dialog box itself, we realize that we need the resizable and the draggable as well. And so do we need the position, mouse, widget, and core. So literally, you could download only specifically what you need, and that's what I encourage you to do. So once you figure out what widgets you're working with, all you have to do is just select the widget that you need. You could even skip all this because it's all automatically going to select the ones that you need. Now, for our sake, because in this chapter, uh, we're going to go through quite a lot of components and so on in the future. I just downloaded all every single component. So if you look into your source files or you download a completely original new one, you'll find the jQuery UI now is the big bulky one with all the everything that's inside of it. And in the CSS, you'll find our new skin, which is called greens, with all the images that are associated with it. And that's all you need to know. And at this stage, we're ready to start working and creating our jQuery UI dialog. So it's time for you to open up the dialog.html file or create a new one. Just grab the previous file. The only difference between the two files is that it has a new title and a new background. So let's get rolling. So first of all, let's see it. So we have your, our new title, and I've added a background color, a background style. All right, so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of my page. And let me just scroll it a bit up so you guys could see it more easily. Let's maybe even zoom in a bit so it's literally easy to read. So I'm, I'm really close to the bottom of my page, and I'm just going to create a new div layer. And in that div layer, I want to put in, uh, first of all, this, this div layer is going to be my, the body itself of our dialog box that is going to open up. So I'm going to put here a, a, some sort of a message. So let's say, welcome to our site. You are going to have a lot of fun. For the div ID, I will give it some sort of an ID so we can now fetch it and actually sell jQuery UI. We want this to be the dialog box. So the ID that I'm going to give to it, I'm just going to call it dialog to stay consistent with the naming convention that I've been working so far. And last but not least, I want to give the the, the UI also a title, but let's do that in a second. So you'll see how it works without and with the title. So scrolling back up into our initiation function, once everything was loaded right after we set up our day picker, well, let's do the same exact thing, the same exact logic for our dialog. So all we have to do is select our dialog, and then we're going to call the dialog function. Instantiate it, save it, and if we go into our jQuery UI dialog HTML page, we will see that once we click on it, we'll see welcome to our site. You're going to have a lot of fun. Now, we have a couple of issues with it. It would be great if we could set it to be in a certain size, and actually, because we downloaded the full library, the users could come and literally resize the element and reposition it to wherever they want on the screen because we downloaded the full capabilities of the library. Now, if we didn't, we could have downloaded only specifically what we're talking about. We could have downloaded only specifically the dialogue and we could have maybe disabled um, the draggable and, and drop.